see, I've got myself a Duracool poly pad. Um, it's a cooler pad for a evaporative cooler. And out here on my shop, I've got a uh, evaporative cooler because I am in the high desert. It's a champion cooler. We're gonna be taking this Duracool pad and we're going to cut fit to remove some of this cooler fiber material. Um, I've done this on one of my other ones. I'll show you that right quick. Okay, um, this has been in here for about a year and a half. Um, this is the old one I have, my old cooler back in my machine room. So it is doing a hell of a job. Uh, its temperature has dropped from about 62 to 55 degree output temperature um, for the air when it's 90 degrees outside and about 30% or less humidity. So let's show you this again and I'll show you why we're changing that other one out with as much of that other material as possible. Okay, now back over here, we're going to take this panel here out and we're going to change out our pad to this and cut to fit and we're going to increase the restriction basically so that the air goes through even faster and that's what it's doing and that's why these work so good so me and Emma and Katie are out here uh, getting this work done so okay now I've removed this panel and you're gonna notice up in here that you see how this fiber material just completely gets where it's losing alignment to the water flow going in. This one has a tube feeding it here, another tube here that feeds that front panel, and a tube that feeds this panel. And the way that these work, um, when you're using this fiber material, look at the large gap here, okay? That really sucks when you're trying to get the water to go down through here, so you're not getting full flow. It's different from this, which the water will go straight into here and permeate into the filter. So, and the other thing is, is when you're using this fiber material, look how it starts to plug up, and it will, the air stirs it up, how it will start to plug up your drain holes for your evaporative cooler. And I'm sure if you own one of these, you've seen it, and it's a mess, and it just bites that you've got all that fiber material blocking the holes and what it'll do is it'll raise the water level up in here and then the ones that are open will get all the water and the ones that are closed off won't hardly get any so your saturation will drop drastically now using this material you have less service issues and i get this at, at amazon you can also get it at uh, you could also pick this up at ebay or other places uh, walmart.com um, i'll put you a link for those down there and if you want better compaction against your against your intake out here go pick you up and i'll put you a link for that too uh screen door springs they're galvanized or stainless steel they'll last a very long time and you just hook them in both sides here and you can shorten them straighten them and put them in there and put tension with screen door springs what i've done is i've drilled additional holes my other cooler is and i put the springs on there so it gets a good tension and it and if you compress this stuff a little bit it forces the blower to pull harder and when it does it comes through faster through the pores and the faster the air travels across the water the the moisture the more it evaporates into cooler air so uh, if you want to learn about evaporator coolers look it up it's really interesting information so we're going to get this cut and installed in here and I'll show you what it looks like and why if you can see how all this is how it sets in here why it's not very effective Okay, now the way I do this is I cut my blue material one inch larger all the way around than my original mat that was in there, my cooling mat, cooling pad. So the second thing I do is I cut a strip about three inches wide of what's remaining and I put it behind the tension, uh, tension springs or tension bars they have on here to hold the pad in. And the reason I do that is because I learned that when this material gets a bad review it's because it's just flopping around inside it's not because it allows it to press up against against this grill here so as long as it's allowed to press against that grill right there it impress it improves the uh, 
how the water trickles down through it. But if it's allowed to flop around, it won't work hardly at all and people complain. So be sure that you see how that works and you put a piece behind it in the center just like I've done and clamp it all in. So, Okay, I'm going ahead and getting the rest of this done and since I used two scraps to put this together, I put a three inch strip of this across them and then pinned them all in. And we have now the uh, scraps used to make sure this doesn't pull inward. And then once, if it pulls inwards, it allows the water to sheet on the outside of it. We want it to sheet in it. So there you go. There's your blue Duracool. And like I said, I get this up there at Amazon. You can get a bigger one. Uh, you can get like a 36, 39 that'll probably do one of these in its entirety. But it's not that expensive, you know, $12, $15. And it'll allow you to get a higher cooling rate with a, with a lot less trouble as far as your pump and stuff down there filling up full of all that old crap um, that comes off of those other ones. So we're going to get this mounted back in and now we're going to show you the temperature from the Ultra Blue. Alright, let's get in there. Okay, now we've got the blue in and you can see it back there through the floor unit and right now it is continually dropping, so 56 degrees pretty much is what we're going to be seeing here. Okay, so you see that the temperature is dropping down, and it will drop down if it runs for about another 10 minutes to about 54. So I'm, I'm gaining about 7 to 8 degrees cooler air coming through this unit. And we'll turn it off there. I know that's a windy noise there. There you go guys, we're in the process of continually upgrading this old RV for you guys who's watched for that. There's the heater unit put back in and the sides are being finished so stay tuned to it. Try out that blue stuff for your uh, swamp coolers, your uh, evaporative swamp coolers. Alright, be good.